Well, my perspective on criminal justice reform is, but for the grace of God, there go I. Meaning there's so many people who made so many mistakes, but unfortunately for African Americans and black and brown populations, the numbers show uh, that they are more likely to be incarcerated, more likely to be incarcerated for longer periods of time. And again, going back to my father's story, if there had been some type of drug court or some type of intervention, um, this, this was a, a nonviolent offender who had never been arrested for anything in his life, was never arrested for anything else in his life and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. He likely would have been diverted to drug court. So what we've done in Atlanta is really take this lens of who we are as a city, what's in our DNA. We are a compassionate city. We are a city of second chances. We also recognize that we've got to give people the framework and the toolkit to be able to succeed. So we eliminated cash bail bonds in the city of Atlanta. And for those who, who don't understand the cash bail bond system, it's very simple. You get stopped for a broken tail light. You could go uh, stay in our city jail for six months if you couldn't pay $200 to get out. If you had $200 to get out, you were in and out maybe in a couple of hours. We eliminated that system. We closed our city jail to ICE because we were not going to be a part of this family separation crisis that was happening in America. So we now have almost a 500,000 square foot facility. And we are working with many of our community activists to reimagine what this facility is. So this facility, uh, we envision it will become a center of equity where people can access services for drug rehabilitation, where they can access GED uh, classes, where they can access 24-hour daycare. It's given us an opportunity to think differently. So we've been working on criminal justice reform. How do we reimagine policing in our city? Because we are reimagining criminal justice reform in our city, we've already reallocated several million dollars from our corrections budget, reallocating that personnel and that money towards community-based, uh, with a community-based focus. We've got to continue this work. We know that there's long-term planning and that that's important, but also there've got to be very quick returns to our communities. Um, and we're continuing to push through that work and, and are, are, will shortly announce um, our next phase of our, our police training and retraining in our city. And we are hoping that it's going to be a model for the rest of the country.